May the Lord God bless you richly. We are reading in the book of Matthew chapter 6. It's better we start in verse 24 until uh, 30, 33, I think. Let us read together for the glory of Almighty God, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Verse 24. No one can be a slave of two masters. He will hate one and love the other. Read carefully. We we'll repeat it again, verse 24. Amen. No one can be a slave of two masters. He will hate one and love the other. He will be loyal to one and despise the other. You can not save both God and money. Verse 25. This is why I tell you not to be worried about the food and drink you need in order to stay alive or about clothes for you, for your body. After all, Reasons life has more than food, mm -hmm. said the Lord. And resonant the body worth more than cloth. Look at the beard, the beard, the flies. They do not sow seeds, gather a harvest, and put it in bands. Yet your father in heaven takes care of them. Re aren't you worth much more than birds? Do you understand? You are more than flies. Let's continue. Of you live a bit longer by worrying about it? 28. And why worry about clothes? Look how the wild flowers grow. They do not work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that not even King Salom King Solomon Solomon with all his health had clothes as beautiful as no one of these flowers. Amen. It's, it is God who clothes the wild grace. Grace that is here today and gone tomorrow. Bent up in the oven. Won't he be all the more sure to clothe you? How little faith you have, the Lord he says to us. So do not start worrying. Where will my food come from? Oh, my drink. Oh, my cloth. These are the things the pagans are always concerned about. Your father in heaven knows that you need all these things. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you need all these things. Amen. Where are you? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Instead, be concerned above everything else with the kingdom of God and with what he requires of you. And he will provide you with all these other things. So do not worry about tomorrow. It will have enough worry of its own. Amen. There is no need to head to trouble each day brings. May the Lord bless his word. We just come to it now for the glory of his kingdom and his name. My beloved, remember what we said last Sunday. We try to continue with the same teaching because 
the only things we are coming here is for us to beg the Lord to come once more to us, to bring us this grace by his mercy, renew every morning for us. Because if God didn't renew his mercy for us, as the Bible says in the book of Psalms 104, we cannot survive. We can see if the same health here with heart tracker can destroy everything. You see, as they say, uh, uh, that one happened last, uh, last time to us here. We lost some of a beloved of us. You see, some of precious people of us when the land slided. Do you understand? All of those things that happen is sometimes the Lord allowed that for us to, to be teached on it. It's not for nothing the Lord allowed some of the things. It's the teaching on another ways. Because the Lord loves us. We just come to read here what the Lord himself says to us. We cannot save two masters. We must have one master. We are born with one father and one mother. Is it impossible to someone to born with the two different? Because if we go uh, biologically to see the seed where it went, you see, inside it go and uh, get it together with another one as uh, came from the mother it will uh, bring a son or a daughter depends on the way a God will uh, give to you you see but it's the same things in spiritually because some of the things can happen that is the spiritual things we cannot explain it here because uh, to born uh, the way we are coming in this world is, is something is not simple just like this is the is the mysteries is God to understand but we try to reject God to try to put another master on his place that is the things some sometimes uh, it complicated us so when we get in complication we're supposed to stand back to stand in our feet so to say no which position I did take since I've said I love God, do you understand? In any denomination you can belong, you can belong, you must ask the question, since I've been here, my love spiritually remains the same because the God we came to save or worship here is not a physical a person. That is, it's not a physical human, it's not a human being. God is a spiritual, is a almighty God. Who knows everything before the hand to understand so as if we want to stand in his perfect will we have to follow what the scripture says because this one it's been inspired by himself and said took the pen and write and the servant of God did write all the people they did do their searching for them to arrive to 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 assemble this all what I can say this Bible with all sixty six chapters it was not by themselves you don't understand that whatever they can be European American Asian African but we must know that is God Himself right by the hand of human being. To understand, but God Himself right. Remember in the book of Daniel, chapter 2, with that king when he was there, he stand, they say, I have a power, a dominion, nothing, no one can stand with me. You see, no one can challenge me. But the Lord God said to him, Oh, you are just a human being. He did see the hands just writing the scripture like this in the world. You see, and the people reading all of them, it was the hand of God. God read, wrote and they read it. So after that, that king become who? It become like animal start to eat the grace like this. To show who is God. You understand? Because some of the people, they think God gone and they don't care. No. 
if it's like this, this scripture cannot tell us. If it's like this, you cannot wake up early in the morning and go to your work. As the Bible says in the book of Psalms 104, and we are telling, we just repeat it again. If we stand up, we see all the things are in the movement, read that scripture, you see what it says. You see, it's God. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Genesis. When human, uh, what I can say, Eve and Adam fell, the death took place. Just the way God says in the book of Genesis chapter 2. And chapter 3, when they fell, directly the death took place. Because it did tell them, advise them. You see, the day you will eat, you shall die. And the death took place. And Christ came, paid the price on the cross. You see, the price it was what? To redeem, to took away that life of death. Because if that life of death remains, all of us were supposed to remain here in the darkness place and will not be removed here. Because the price must be that Christ cannot have something that accused. And that accusation came from where? The accusation came from what the devil did in Genesis chapter 3. You see, compromising. He brought his mind on the eternal mind of God. You understand? Because God expressed himself. When God spoke, it was the attribute of God, the mind of God, eternal God. You understand? And when God spoke, in the beginning, it was his mind. He is eternal God, God, eternal, the only one. When he spoke, the eternal life been getting inside of men, being built in the image, being created in the image of God. You see, but when God made a man form us with this envelope of a body, with flesh, the devil came, but man who did uh, been made or formed in this flesh, this envelope, did have the same power that God gave in his soul. You see, the soul of man did have a power of God. It did have that, uh, what I can say, mind of God with all the power of Almighty in his in, in him, in his life. And the devil, when he was rejected by Michael Angel, came down, he was just there. Look at how I can bring that man fell. Because he did know God always with his life, with his love, sorry. He always gave advice, said, don't do that. That isn't good for all the good father is we are with the daughters and sons we have, we have to guide them regarding this book to love them. Because love must correct. You see, love is something not just to allow, to leave the freedom. No. The freedom doesn't mean you love. No. You see, there is a time of you can leave a few freedom when you see, no, let us go out in the restaurant or take something, some, such such thing. But when you are in the family, you must control everything. You must be there to feel we have a father among us. You see, even when you are far, the things happen today with the divorce, all of those things happen. You have to control even in distance. The kids must feel that love. And tomorrow they will say, no. I did have a father who did control us, who always tells us it's the same things with God. God did advise, don't touch this, don't do this, because I know on what I did formed and put in this world, in this earth, you see, I put this and I put this for you to choose so I will see you obey me. Because there is something is in him, it was what? To be worshipped. Do you understand? Because if God didn't do it, we will not able to worship him. Because that time when Adam been created, 
He was not. He was there just reigning as God. That the position the devil took. You see? But he did took it wrongly. He's supposed to took it regarding the perfect will of God. You see? So as son and daughter of God, we have to follow this way. To look firstly for the kingdom of God, as the scripture says to us in this book we just come, we are we just read now in verse 33, Matthew chapter 6. But we started from verse 24 to verse uh, 34. Yes, the last verse is 34. We read it completely like 10 verses. You see? So when the attribute was in God to be worshipped, to be praised, to be a healer, to be a provider, you see, all of those attributes, Jehovah, Chikenu, it was inside of him, it must be manifested. But he didn't want to allow his son to go on the wrong way. That's why he did advise him. Because for him to, to, to manifest, it, to, to fill those attributes of him uh, uh, in us or among us, it was waiting a perfect time. So that's why I did advise them, the day you shall eat or touch, you shall die. Too. And he did put them there. And the devil just observed man, he said, no, this one, if I go there, I will not uh, succeed. Let me go by women, cheats. You see? Don't sit on physically and personally just uh, like a gender, in the gender way, no. You see, let us uh, sit on the, on, the, on, on the spiritual ways, the churches. You see, that's why we see all of those things happen with churches under the sun. You see, they try to compromise with the scripture and the devil took place. So Jesus Christ is no longer the same. No, he's still the same. But remember what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 30. You see, when just you compromise, the Holy Spirit will not be with you. And the Spirit will take a place to be another master. You see, how can you have two masters? It's impossible. If you read in the book of Luke, uh, Luke uh, 11, the Lord Jesus Christ is explaining all of this that to them, what the Pharisees, and the priest, when they was there standing, said, we are children, we are sons and daughters of Abraham. We always stand with the scriptures. Where you come from, you tell us what, what. But he said, if you are the real sons, son or servant of God, or have Abraham, uh, uh, you did Abraham as a father, you're supposed to recognize me. Because I didn't come by myself. The prophet did advise regarding my coming. They did prophesy. All of those things are here in the Bible. That's why the Apostle Peter says that before he tells the people, give us the key of the kingdom and the, that the Lord gave to him. That key was what? It was at chapter 2, verse 8, verse 39. That is the key. You see, read it. I don't want to read it. You must be committed. If you read it, you will see that key the Lord gave to his servant. You see, that the key of kingdom. But the people today reject that way. They took another way. And when you take another way, you cannot have it serve two masters. You see, you cannot serve the same times the darkness and the light. Because the Lord God separated. You see, when we sleep, it's the night. When we wake up, it's the day. Psalm 104. It's very important. I repeat it so you can have a time to read it. It's very, very important. So let us return on what we are saying because we're still there also. So God, when David went to the church, which is was woman, you see, woman in the Bible, it means church. So when he went to the church and the church fell, Listen. Why the church fell? Because the people try today to reasoning in God's word. Now, we cannot reason. That we say to you last Sunday, we don't want to take time again there. Let us focus forward. So we see 
When the church fell, God by his love came. And the man fell also. Fell, fell also. You see? And when the man fell also, that the man was a prophet. The prophet felt mean the word been broken completely. But God with his life, love came. Didn't leave them like this. Because he loves his son and his daughter. When he came as a good father, he said, no, listen. What happened exactly? They start giving the reason, dif different reason. Woman, you did give to me. Oh, oh, the wife I did give to you. Okay, from today you have to must choose by yourself. You see, yeah, that's why we are going to the prayer to find who must be with you. You see, but if you didn't go to the prayer, you go by the duty. You go by the nice voice, nice body, you will fail. <laughs> you see, with the things that are happening today. So, when the Lord said that, ask the question to women, women also say, no, the serpent. You see, what the serpent did brought me to fail on wrong way, which is wrong way. It was not a fruit. It means something being committed. You see, something, there is, a, there is uh, what I can say, the blood felt. Do you understand? Something uh, that's been sealed by God, it was inside of a woman, the devil came and broken it and the blood came out. So the only things are supposed to save the man by the holy anger of God, it was the blood. And which blood? No. Because the blood who was handled that government, it was in the church. A woman of virtue. That's why if you see many chapters are telling, telling us about a woman, she's a blessed, she's a this, she's a this, she's a this. You see, Proverbs 12, Proverbs 14, Proverbs 18, Proverbs 31st, talking always about women. Many verses, many scriptures, the apostle says to us also. Understand? So the Lord, what he did, he provided a sheep, a lamb, himself, to cover the sin of his son and daughter. You understand? So from there, there was the people were survived by the lamb blood. You understand? It was the lamb of sheep, the covering all our sin. Until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. When the Lord Jesus Christ came by the cross that day, it was a lamb of God. That this time we are not living with the blood of animal because it's uncomfortable. Because the animal doesn't have a soul. Because we must have a soul that must return to you and dwell in you so you can survive a life of that spirit in you the soul i'm saying in the spirit and that spirit must be a holy spirit because we have two spirits today in the world one spirit came from down another spirit came for heavenly place from the most high place you understand to make it to make a difference and that spirit of came from most high place everybody every every all of us we know is the spirit of god is god himself is the zoe the Spirit of God came from every place regarding the promise he did give. In the wild time, the world will not give me, know me or recognize me, but you will recognize me because you keep my commandment. That, that means for me you love me and I, will, I shall come to you, I will be with you and in you until the end of time. Do you understand? So what Sons and daughters of God did find in that moment when the Lord came, listened to all of them. He just provided them and was covering them. But the death did took place. The sickness did took place. All of those things we can see here, cancer, anger, all those things, jealous, hate, took place from there. You understand? But not for those ones that are looking to survive long. If you want to survive long, you have to take those things away. The hunger to hurt. If you go to the doctor, you ask them, 
you have a heart problem, you say, you're always getting hurt. You're always doing this. You're always doing... Because those things, they have impact spiritually and physically. You see, because they came from the wrong mind, which is that there was a devil mind. And the devil brought what? Brought death, sickness. They didn't come from God. Do you understand? Nothing of that came from the Lord God. And when God provide the lamb it was for us now to recognize is the only one is a master most i master most i god eternal god and in him we can receive this his kingdom in us because the kingdom of god in you is the baptism of holy ghost the Holy Spirit, God, has promised in the book of John 14 to come and dwell in you. You see, that's why last time we did remind you the scriptures been promised to the time we are living. So for us to be able to walk with the Christ from the faith until the perfect law, love so we can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's why we came here not to preach only the perseverance, but to brought to you until to the perfection. Because the perfection is Christ. After changing your perception, you understand? Because the Lord said in the book of Revelation chapter 2, He said, I recognize your perseverance. You dare, you stand. You see? You reject the doctrine of Nicholas. I recognize your work. You're always saving me. But I'm asking you one thing. You're still in the doctrine of human being. You have all that till today something is coming from a human being that has stopped you to reach my perfect will. Which is these things. I belong to such such church. No. We must be belongs to the mystical body of Christ because it's the only body went to rapture. Where we must be. I said must. We must, we, we have to, uh, to, to, to understand me, to forgive me on that word. I must say it like this because the Lord God said that. You see, because if we born in God's kingdom, we receive his image, we become God as himself needed. Reading the book of Psalm 82, you'll see what I'm saying. I'm telling you that. You see? So the only body went to rapture in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. You see? When the disciples stand, they didn't yet become apostles because they didn't yet receive the Holy Ghost. But they remember what the Bible says one day the Lord Jesus Christ slides the hand on top of them, send all of them at 12 as they were. Disciples, they went and they preached this word. You see? And they did many miracles. When they returned back to the Lord, they said, Lord, even the bad spirit obey us. We heal people. We did miracle all of these things. Lord Jesus Christ replies to them. He said, don't rejoice only because the bad spirits obey you. You chase sickness, all of those things. You give many solutions to the people. Don't rejoice only on it, but rejoice your name be written in the book of life. To understand what the Lord said to them. And when the Lord was saying that, because he did know Judah was there, he was not, he didn't want to change his mind, his perception. You see, the only things the Lord asking, the perseverance, remember, Judah did perseverance, persevered with the Lord until when the Lord finished his ministry, he wanted to return back to the Father. He was there. But the Lord was advised at him. The, 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 I love all of you, 12 of you, but one of you is always with the mind of devil. I'm advising him to change that mind. Lord, is it me? No, not Lord, is it me? No, Peter, Lord, is it me? John, no. James, Lord, is it me? He said, no. Who's going to put his hand in the plate 
with me now. And Judah put his hand. Can you imagine? It's supposed to be to understand that. But the things didn't help him to change, to took away that devil mind, to took the mind of Christ, which is the eternal life in him. It was what that he did have, keep in him. And it came from the wrong interpretation of God's word. And from there, they did use him to sell the Lord with small money. Do you understand that? You see? So many of us today in the church would still have that position of Judah. We don't want to take position to reject that came from such sad doctrines. You see? Something been compromised a long time and took the Lord away. And we are asking the question, is still the same, Lord? Yes, it's still the same. But what happening is not with us. The Lord loves where they are worshiping him, when they are praising him. Because the Lord wanted us to recognize him, the only God, the only master, the only is eternal in the, he, he, he has eternal life in him. But why we worship the Lord by such things, we cannot have it with us. And many of us, they went down to do the government with the death, which is the devil. You see, for us to come and do the miracle. What happened exactly? The people are supposed to ask that question. No, but the people continue. We can see the people, the way they are singing, doing. We're going to talk about that another day. Because it will bring us again far. Because you can look just on the TV for someone sing for the Lord, the way you were, the way you do this, her, all of those things. You can ask the question yourself. But the voice is nice. The instrument has been combined very well. But what wrong exactly? You see, the image that the person is giving is not committed with what is singing. Is that Judah did he remained that he don't want to change his perception. So when you don't want to change your perception, the perfection cannot come, cannot took place. You see, the prophet Branham was also a baptism, a baptism, uh, a member, the baptism, the church of baptism, Baptist, I think. It was a Baptist member. But when the Lord calls him, there, there was not belief on many things that are written here in the book. You see? To do such a miracle, the gift of a heal, all of those, they say, no, all of those things been stopped with the apostles. After that, many ages, this time we are leaving it just to read, you pray, finish. You read, you sing, finish. No. No. It's not that. Because when the sickness came, we need a healer. When such such things we need him as we read here, it's God who knows what we need. Because our life is more than the clothes, more than the food, more than drink. It means the first things we need to find first his perfect will is what his kingdom and his justice and the justice and the rest shall be given to us. You see? But what happened with the people today? They say, they stand, they say, no, okay, it's not a problem. We can remain in this condition. But the prophet, when he came, he had a dream. He had a vision. He went, he tells his pastor in his church of Baptist. He said, no, those things of having dreams, having vision, no, no, it's the devil things. You cannot uh, uh, believe in these things. You have to go and pray for the Lord. Jesus, but it was perfect will of God. And the same things continue when he obey on it, God gave to him the revelation of time. And he brought us the revelation of Jesus Christ regarding the book of Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to verse 7. If you read it, you'll see. You see. And that book of Revelation of 7 seal, all the mysteries was sealed before since Genesis to Revelation been revealed to us. So from there we can understand exactly how this world is, the things are going. Why this, why this, why this? And we can understand exactly 
walk. When the time can be handed, even we don't know the day, the month, we don't know nothing about that because the Lord said, even myself, I didn't know his only father who knows. But from that, we can say regarding what the Lord said in the book of Matthew chapter 24, ah, the way the things are going, the Lord is not far to come. Do you understand? Yeah. Ourselves, we can say how the pollution or all of those things, hybrid, can destroy the life of people in the chemical things, in the chemical weapon, all of those things, the food we are eating, we can say ourselves, this world hasn't had a long time to survive again. So the only things can save us after this life, it's when we've been in touch with Lord. So we be in touch. The Lord has to us here everything we need. is ready. He knows. He must give, provide for us as a Jehovah Jireh. But he's asking to us to take firstly position in him. We cannot take position as Judah. Remain in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, but he don't want to change his perception. But he was a person. He, he did have a good perseverance. Following the Lord everywhere, and he was not complaining in anything. Do you understand? And it was there the Lord said, All the money is coming inside of the church, give Judah to control that. That love, it was just to teach him, take away this mind you have, to took my mind, the mind of Christ, and look at the hand of Judah after a long time staying with the Lord. As he didn't want to change his perception, you see, it been when to kill himself. But the rest, remember, Peter also denied the Lord. He said, no, I will not, Lord, I will not, Lord. By that day, when they arrested the Lord, they were, you too, you was together with me. So no, 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 no. He said, Peter, I told you. And say, what I did told you happened also to you. And what Peter did? Did the same things with Judah? No. Peter went, did what? Went, did act. Chapter 2, 38. He went to cry, to confess, and did the repentance. He said, Lord, forgive me. Ah, oh, Lord, you know I love you. Lord, forgive me. I beg you, Lord. You see? But when you say heart, remember, the hell you are breathing came from who? Came from him. That the scripture says to us here. When you allowed yourself to go and you do another government here so it can provide something from you, mind about that. Everything we can be, where every government you can, they have consequences. You see, we have to stand with God's word and we shall come. He knows. He don't want to give you too much and he don't refuse you also small. As David was saying, Lord, don't give me too much. Don't refuse me too you see, and the Lord knows what He's going to give to you. Because if He's the only one created heaven and earth, He's going to leave her suffering just like this because the time is difficult. No, things must change. But the first things, chapter 33, you see, of this book, we are reading here. Instead, be concerned above, above everything held with kingdom of God and with what it requires of you. And he will provide you with all these other things. You see? He will provide you with all other things. He knows. You see? But the first things the Lord need to see you stand in his will. Go do like Peter. All of them, there was the stand, the perseverance. And the Lord said, Peter, I know you love me, but when you'll be born again, receive the Holy Spirit, help your brothers and sisters. Do you understand that? But they did the miracle. But the Lord said, when you will be born again in kingdom, Peter can ask a question. I didn't yet, as long as I remain with the Lord God who created, made flesh, but I still remain the same Peter. Yes. 
But they did have a virtue of spirit, which is a patience. When they remain in patience, there in the day of Pentecost, Lord came, amen, and gave them the gift of Holy Spirit, which is the baptism of Holy Spirit. And they are in the kingdom of God today because they receive the kingdom of God when they've been here. And the rest, you see, peacefully with the Lord. We have many to say on it. Let us stop here. May the Lord God bless you richly. Read the scripture again. Maybe my English is not good. <laughs> I have to recognize that. But we are trying just our best to read the scripture and try to explain with this our poor English. Do you understand? But to you who can understand that and abandon yourself, the Spirit of God who knows everything, who can give you a good understanding of the scripture, you'll understand that maybe more than the way we explain to you here. As we just come read the scripture as the slave of the Lord, so from there you can take it and understand and see, ah, Lord promised to me, let me even say, let me try. If you try, he will come and help you. You understand that? May the Lord God bless you. Happy Sunday to you. Read this book of Matthew, chapter 6, from 24, from verse 24 to verse 34. But we see the Lord insisting in verse 33. It's most important. You are there, you say, I love God. I'm son of God. I'm daughter of God. But Judah also was saying that, I understand, but the Lord was advised him. You see, look at that. Look at this. You see this, but he didn't want to understand. But he did the miracle. He healed the people. He did one, two, three. You see, and that day, he didn't want to change his perception, the way to see the things of the Lord, the way to see your life, the way to take a decision, say, no, I must stop this. Many various times the Spirit tells me, there is one voice always telling me, Dan, you see, don't do that. Stop this. Listen this. But I didn't listen. I don't want, I reject always that voice because there is two spirits are fighting in me. You see? But that one always coming with the big voice is the devil. You see? And devil is allowed to be there. Even a second master. He is allowed that, but God don't want allowed to be need, no, not a first or with the second one. No, Lord want to be only Him, a master. That's why I said to us, you cannot have two masters with you, only one. Do you understand? But the devil is allowed that. He said to the people today, we can see that the people are saving God with this Bible. You see. And they are saving also. That is the time we are living. The Lord Jesus said that in the end time, the darkness shall come and wanted to mix with the light. Is it impossible? But the people are doing it. Is the death always already took place? You see? But if you go inside of room, you talk with him, you say, Lord, I want to try. And when you are honest inside of you, the Lord shall come to you. And will change your perception because you manifested yourself. I want to change it, and it will help you. And when he help you, he will bring you himself, which is the perfection. May the Lord God bless you. Stay with the peace of the Lord. We love you. Let us pray one another. The Lord will shall provide for us and in everything we need, and uh, we have to resolve with the family and others. Shalom. Bye-bye.